It's time for the presidential fitness test, where we make you even more insecure about your bodies by judging you while you perform arbitrary physical tasks. Can't believe we got Eleanor Roosevelt as a gym teacher. Yeah, he's great. You know, Abe, tonight I finally had the night off from the hotline, which is community service. So I was thinking we could, like, you know, carpool to JFK's party, you know, save gas. You like talking to Mark? Well, you can tuck your tight little buns into Principal Scudworth's office. Slowly. Oh, yeah. Hey, stud. I'm so glad you're getting the beer tonight. I just love underage drinking. I know I know. Okay, how the hell am I gonna get that beer? Easy. Tell them that they heard you wrong. What you said was, I'll get the beards. That makes no sense. Yeah, but if you think about it, it would still be a pretty sweet party. This is the best party ever! Thanks, Gandhi! Okay, Genghis Khan, when the clerk asks if you're over 21, say yes, got it? You over 21? Okay, he used a very tricky line of questioning. Let's practice again. Are you over 21? Yes. You over 21? No. So I guess you're 21. I am 21. I'm not 21! Mr. Mark, I'll overlook your little gym class disruption if you help me with the report I'm writing. Tell me your likes and dislikes. Well, I dislike being tied to a chair. Good! I'll use a big font, but with the margins, and I'll be home in time for Jay Leno! You would like Leno. How dare you insult that big chinned everyman and his various African American band leaders! Perhaps you'll learn some respect spending the rest of the afternoon in my death maze! Oh, 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 this is useless. I need to observe the teenagers in their element. I will be Diane Fossey, and they the gorillas. But where can I find the mist? Attention, students! JFK will be having a huge keg of the night! Students only! That is all. You seem to have this compulsion to nail Cleo. What do you think drives this desire to act overly macho? Well, uh, it's my foster parents. You uh, know that show, My Two Dads. It's uh, like that, but more gay. Mm, look how nice he looks in the dock of we bought him. Dad? What, you're too good to be gay like your old man? Carl, it is not his fault. Baby was born that way. Death maze, huh? Oh, I, I was in the maze once. It was hot. You know, I'm hot now. I think I'll take my shirt off. Ah, ready for the weekend. Gandhi, I think it's really big of you to skip the party and work the hotline tonight. Uh, of course. Sure, I buckled under the pressure of living up to the original Gandhi and became a non-stop party machine, but damn it. I still care. So, Joan, you can count on me. Uh, no, no, not at a party. We're just really busy here at the Teen Hotline. Woo! Susie, Kelly, do me a favor and make out. <laughs> so, you're depressed. Hey, everybody, it's me, Abe. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's a keg of beer. Hey! Hey, I thought you had to work the hotline tonight. No, man, I just forwarded the calls on my cell phone. Look, I'll talk to you when you can stop crying. And you're not afraid of Joan catching and ultimately killing you? Oh, I'm so scared. Well, I think I'll just jump off this balcony in case she... Oh, my God! Well, congratulations, Abe. The people were clamoring to make asses of themselves, and you gave them the means to do it. Not exactly. I... Uh... I could only get non-alcoholic beer. They're gonna be able to tell. <laughs> I'm a pony! You'll be fine. Joan, have you ever liked someone so much you're afraid you're gonna blurt out something stupid? I have a rash on my back. 
Are you sure this is the best way to do research? Won't they be able to tell we're not students? You underestimate me, my metal friend. What's up, fellow students? Raise the roof! Raise it! Where are my bitches? Sometimes I just turn the lights off in my room and cry. I'm sorry, uh, Van Gogh, could you speak up? The only way I can cling to my sanity is that nobody knows how lonely I truly am. <laughs> He's sad. That's <laughs> hilarious. Hey, am I on speakerphone? Hey, will Gandhi put somebody on speakerphone? No! This is Gandhi, how could you? Hey man, Gandhi's anti-violence. Not anti-comedy. <laughs> Woo! Feels good to help people. Want to talk about it? You wouldn't understand. Maybe you should tell Abe how you really feel. What good would that do? Maybe he just thinks you don't think he doesn't want to not ruin the friendship. You make it sound so simple. Maybe one of us just needs to make the first move. Maybe that one of us is you. Thanks, Mr. B. I love you. Don't mention it. Wesley. You know, Abe, maybe it's the beer talking. I doubt it. It's just, I always saw you as this honest guy, but now I'm seeing you as a cool guy who just happens to be honest. Doesn't that blow your mind? That's me, cool, honest Abe. Oh, Abe, it's like there's a tin can phone from your brain to my heart. No I good cheating tramp! Hey, get off my dinghy! Not you!